Hey guys, it's Nabil from Turpaz, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got something really cool, which is right behind me, as you've seen from the thumbnail, and that's why you've clicked on it. It's a McLaren F1 in this very, very bespoke color. Now this is chassis number 75, which means it's the last McLaren F1 ever to be made. Now, this is one of those things where when we get a car like this coming in, I have to record it. Unfortunately, I've been away, so I haven't been able to record the full process through um, with, with Thomas, and it's one of those things where I'm trying to salvage as much to show you what it looks like here with the car. Gary's working away at the car to make sure that all the last touches are about to be done before the car's about to leave. Let's talk a bit about what we did on the car. So, level three details, what we started off with, paint correction to make sure that the substrate is absolutely perfect. I mean, the paintwork is in very good condition anyway, but we wanted to make sure it's absolutely perfect to get to that Topaz standard. Um, now, let's talk about paint protection film. That's a bit more tricky because we've obviously we've seen about six road cars, about four or five um, GTRs as well. So we've seen quite a few F1s, so we're quite familiar with them, but no F1 is exactly the same. One side is slightly different to another side, and obviously these were all handmade, so there's slight minute differences in every single panel. So with this car, uh, we've had to basically redesign all the pieces uh, and adjust them a little bit to make sure that it fits perfectly to this car itself. It's like a tailor-made suit, essentially. Uh, and then we'd save it onto the chassis, which obviously, as I said, is a chassis 75, so very, very cool. Um, but once, in terms of paint protection film, again, it's, we're going through all the different elements. We double up wherever it's possible to, and to make sure that any areas that are high impact, we double them up with uh, uh, two layers of paint protection film to make sure this fantastic paint is looked after and protected. But what's also cool, and we're gonna show you some work being done on this, it's the car standing right next to it. Now, if you have a look, this is a P1 GTR. Now, a P1 GTR is cool, but a P1 GTR which matches this F1 is even cooler. And that's exactly why I thought I'd show you this at the same time. So whilst we're talking about patterns and obviously paint protection film with this car behind me, is a similar thing to the F1 where the patterns are, need to be adjusted specifically. And one of the areas is, for example, if you look at this front splitter, where you have so many rivets and so many different little circles, every single one of those are slightly different position in each one of the cars. So again, it's all about the detail. So this video is gonna be quite nice, a bit short, but I hope you enjoy it. I know I enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, what an what a absolute pleasure having this car in. Um, it's, it's one of those cars, it's like, you know, childhood memory, childhood dream. But yeah, looking at it, working on it is absolutely amazing. So thank you very much to the owner. Thank you very much to you guys. Enjoy it. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. See you later.
But there it is guys, hope you've enjoyed that video. Now it's a bit less action than you used to in terms of detailing and paint protection. So I'm sorry you didn't get the snow foaming on that car. I'm sure you'd like, really like that. But um, it's one of those things, isn't it? But again, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I'm, I'm sure you've enjoyed the beauty of both of these cars, but specifically the F1 and uh, enjoy just having a look at it. So make sure you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for all your support.